Uh, so um, today is just a, I, I perhaps uh, brushed on it in the last video, but now I'm going to reinforce the statement, the advisory to the Kenyatta family criminal enterprise. Please, Mamangena's security has been withdrawn. Please don't hijack the spirit, don't hijack the purpose of uh, Mandamano today, trying to project it as if it's all about Mamangena and her property and her money. That we, we ain't got time for your bullshit anymore. You, you know, that's what you did uh, the last time the Mandamano had picked momentum and then the Northlands raids, uh, raid happened. We, we don't understand whether it was staged, whether it's you guys who faked it, whether it was real, whether it was this uh, uh, Kenya Kusha who did it. But either way, you, that issue stole the limelight from very valid grievances about the lowering uh, of the cost of living. The issues which were started by you, this problem that is being uh, extended by these uh, Kenya Kusha degenerates, uh, it was started by the Kenyatta family in state capture, chronic capitalism. So this is not your day. Uh, if you feel like you've been withdrawn for secu security and it's a constitutional right, please go to court like everyone else. Eh, people who feel aggrieved always head to court. I don't understand why all your issues have to be played in the public gallery. You have to now fund bloggers. Mm, last time you even got Akino Izaka Kioni to come and lecture us as Mount Kenya people. Eh, you are being, do, do it in your house. Do it, do it any of your shit. Are, are we employed in any of your co companies? Get your fucking Muzungus and those uh, St. Mary's uh, guys who work for you with their fake British accents. Go to court. Get one of your lawyers there and then you say no. Mamangena has been an fairly she deserves i don't know she was a former first lady good you get it well we don't care but don't turn don't hijack the spirit of the mandamano today trying to project yourselves as victims all the time we are tired of your garbage man if you only knew how you disgust us you well, we have yes you guys so dis like please spare us your garbage you understand so uh on, on today's uh, issues i hope we've uh, we've done some little house cleaning over there uh, to, to the, the news uh, today we are waking up to a very can I call it huh? orgasmic <laughs> orgasmic headline in the in the daily nation uh, the, the, where it says that uh, forget about the main one uh, forget about as your demos for now it says why top US trade official refused to meet Korea now this these are stories we don't get to see every other day because every time we are seeing Moses Kuria, we are seeing him with the U.S. ambassador, uh, Meg Whitman. So we always assume that these guys are the ones who are, you know, funding him to keep on uh, perpetrating his uh, lunacy, to keep on spewing his empty rhetoric, his toxic and uh, insultive uh, foul mouth. We always thought that he was he was a br briefcase carrier of uh, Meg Whitman and the likes. And then we see such a such a spectacular headline, yeah, and then uh, let's read let's read the, the, what the article is saying. It says that uh, the nasty public tirades and social media posts of outspoken and apologetic industrialization, trade, and investment cabinet secretary Moses Kuria have landed him in trouble. This time, the nation has established that the visiting United States trade representative Catherine uh, Tai cancelled two scheduled meetings with Moses Kuria to discuss trade ties between the two countries. So they say Ms. Tai was to meet Moses Kuria on Monday uh, at his uh, Two Rivers office, but cancelled, labeling him an extremist over his unpalatable remarks against individuals and institutions. Ambassador Tai, who has been in the country from Monday uh, to, uh, to to co-lead a meeting in U.S. East Africa community, blah, 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 is reported to have expressed her reservations with the conduct of the trade CS. Yesterday, Korea was supposed to attend the Taifa Council meeting alongside his East Africa community, blah, 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 Rebecca Miano. But he was uh, blocked out. <laughs> Mr. Kuria is said to have been labeled as an unwanted host. This is amazing, Catherine Tai. I wish I could buy you a beer, man. This, because of removing the ill winds from Moses Kuria's sails. We, we can't be having somebody just talking crap like this. But you know, I keep on saying... Moses Kuria, Kimani, Shongwa, all these other toxic guys who are Dindinyoro is because they have nothing else to offer. 
that's why they are going there is almost like they are volunteering themselves to uh, to show the, uh, the the kenya kusha regime that you know we are fighting for you because you have no other value component you're delivering now let me tell you now the irony of all of this is that moses kuria uh, in his tirades against uh, raila odinga forcing him to make those uh, crazy tweets uh, where he was insinuating that uh, raila will die and blah 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 uh, he's been making all those defamatory statements he's been making all those toxic statements in uh, trying to project himself as doing the lord's work of bringing foreign investors he's, he's always been saying that ruto has given him an important part, task to rebuild the economy and the one who is fixing it and i am going to talk to wazungus out there now the muzungus <laughs> They are disowning you eh, in broad daylight. How does that feel? The, so you can never use the term of Muzungus saying that even the Muzungus themselves, they understand that picketing, demonstrating is, is, is a constitutional right. But what is not a constitutional right is to be stupid. You cannot be stupid and still be a CS at the same time. Let's listen to one of, uh, he, there was a time he was in uh, Fika. Uh, you know, Thika is, I told you, is also another ground zero for all the Makistan, Kameme, uh, Inoro toxicity. And he was there launching an album or something for Muigai Wanjoroge, or it was his own homecoming. I don't really follow these Kikuyu guys, man. These guys are toxic. Uh, so, and you can see in this video, you can see he's flanked by the Thika MP, Alice Nanga, and then Muigai the, the, the Togeges, the, the real Togeges there are just flanking him. Uh, just listen to the video where he was talking about his holy work of uh, bringing muzungus and investors and <laughs> the same guys who are abandoning him eh, on the roadside he's been thrown under the bus paul asana buona courier let's listen ile kazi deputy president na president wa manipatia ya kujenga uchumi yetu hata jana nilikuwa huko marekani nikakata safari yangu nikuje hapa kushirikiana na muigai na niseme wakati nazunguka hii dunia Mimi nataka kuhakikishia kwamba dunia mzima iko na imani na serikali ya William Ruto na Lina Dinasaka. Na wazungu wako tayari kukuja hapa. Wa China wako tayari, Waarabu wako tayari, Wahindi wako tayari. Na mimi silali usiku na mchana nikijaribu kuleta investors hapa. Na ndio mimi nasikia vibaya hata kama niliokoka. Hata kama niliacha siasa. Mutu akuja haribu ile kazi kama wewe kwa mudo mayanga. Wewe unafikiria na sinasikia namna gani? Wakati niko huko nje naongea na wazungu, wazungu wako hapa tayari. Kimudo yoke kiuge gushuana kile adrenita. Wanaoko nenye juu na sio mayanga. Kwa sababu Kwa sababu kabla haribu kazi ya watu wengine mimi mwenyewe kazi yangu huyo mtu ndio mimi anaharibu na mimi niseme katokoto watu gia wale kimuluki mwe kinyali mayanga no adhuguma katoka hada no adhuguma katoka hada gotile waile gioto ile gotile waile gioto ile na totikoto watu gia wale mudo mwe kabashiro tole now you see he went on an ethnic trade that's how to charge the crowds in mount kenya you must project one imaginary enemy this guy has not stolen anything of theirs has not done anything to them but you must project one enemy and then you charge you use all those vulgar languages you, and you can see the people who have flanked him over there they are laughing at his jokes muiga in Jeroge was a very sober guy last year when he was talking about baria kemendero who are the kenyatta family criminal enterprise grabbing everything on site but now how do you give a platform to somebody like Moses Kuria spewing that toxicity? Secondly, how tenable will his position be when he cannot engage with the very people he's been appointed to, eh, to, 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 to be discussing with, to be meeting with? If the lead investor from the United States, their representative, their trade representative does not want to meet you, eh, do you can you remain in that position? Surely. Mm, because you be, we cannot even drink our beers in peace you've been telling us how you are appointed and you are the one who is uh, fixing the economy and yet we can see that you're looking for opportunities to insinuate yourself in those 
deals because you know you are the first one there when they come eh? we are just looking we can hear your tenders here i don't know uh, edible oil i don't know what we, we can see that you're uh, exploiting your position for personal gain so how tenable will your position be in light of the current situation where even the u.s trade representative doesn't want to meet you so alanyeti